Welcome to The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. But it's with a twist. strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Princess Zelda, I think I know you. Anyways, let me introduce myself. My name is Zay Payne. If you are new to this channel, uh, now would be a good time to subscribe as we are starting a new Let's Play. Now, my old channel that got deleted, I always made like random Let's Plays that only made it like four episodes and then quit. This channel uh, had the Breath of the Wild Let's Play, five episodes. DayZ series, four episodes, and I quit. But this series, is different. We are gonna play through the entirety of Tears of the Kingdom only using meat. The rules are I am only allowed to use a weapon if there's meat attached to it and for a bow and arrow well I can only shoot meat arrows beneath Hyrule Castle. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But. I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Yeah, I'm gonna protect Let's you with my solve this mystery. Yeah, I'm gonna protect you with my meat, Zelda. So obviously when I have to fight the two keys, uh there won't be any meat on this sword, but let's just pretend that's the case. Just y'all wait till we get the meatster sword. Mm. That's gonna be amazing. must be sensing something. I knew he had reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. Huh? We must be careful as we move deeper. Don't worry, Zella. I've got meat. Well, not yet, but I will have meat. Oh god, here we go. Link, look here. Take your time. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? I don't know, you tell me. Oh my god. Oh, look at this. What is it? Doesn't look like meat, so I don't care about it. These carvings, I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Did they eat meat up there? Because if not, I don't want anything to do with it. Mm. Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none gives us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. Jesus! Oh my lord. 
those statues there. Hmm. Is this what the Zonai looked like? They seem so different than us. It's such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? I don't know, you tell me. It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Yeah, we should. I'm starting to smell meat. Oh no, it's Keith, but I don't got any meat. What will I do? I'll cheat this one time. You're not hurt, are you, Link? Nah, what it look like, girl. I'm good. <gasps> what? What you see? Oh shoot! Look at these murals. I see it. Big as heck. I don't see no meat though. So. The written histories of the royal family. What about it? Include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes, and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Mmm, he sounds awesome. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? I don't know. <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. I do not look like that, ma'am. Sorry to tell you. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Sure looks like it. What? What is it? It is <gasps> said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. Hmm. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish Kingdom the kingdom of, of Hyrule. Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the demon king. I see it. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> If the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Oh. Oh. Incredible! I know, right? I just this am. This mural must be the Great War recorded in the Royal Histories! It must this be! This is the imprisoning war! And the events that led up to it! Link! This is a huge discovery! Is it? Because I wouldn't know. <laughs> Everything you just said went through one ear and out the All other. Right, then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. I'm gonna sue you, Zelda. Well, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Just what is this place? Underneath Hyrule Castle. Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. Good, because I smell meat. Oh shoot, that was an accident. What is that? What is this place? Underneath Hyrule Castle? Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. <laughs> nah, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we'll go. What is that? Meat! Oh, no, I'm just kidding. It's just skin and bones. I mean, there's no, there's no skin. Just bones. Kinda. Don't look like me to me though. Huh? 
It's a little teardrop. Give the thing a look. It's the Triforce. Uh oh. Oh no. All of the meat that I had to eat to get up there and they just took it all away. Link! Was that the sword that seals the darkness? It was. A blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Zelda. You. Who carries that fragile sword? A link. How did you know? Raru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you... Know our names. Well, in, in our in our defense, we didn't know that you're this huge creature that didn't have any meat. Oh, great. Alright. We're just gonna um, shoot that in the sky. Cool. Holy crap. Oh no. I'm sorry, Zelda, I don't have any meat. Well, we're dead. If you're wondering, yes, I can't use a single weapon until I get the fuse ability. So, but then how am I going to get meat to even begin with? Oh boy. I don't even have meat. I can't use meat to get meat. What am I going to do? Link. Finally, you wake. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Thank you. I'm glad that you Your arm, care. however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. All right, Goat Daddy. There's the soon-to-be Meatster sword. 
and the Let's Play officially begins. So, I'm not sure how long this Let's Play is going to be, but if you do want to see a randomizer Let's Play one day, get this video to 20 likes, and I will. Anyways, let's begin. I need to know if y'all enjoy this series or not. See if I even want to continue it. The Meatster Sword of oh, Master. My bad. What this do? Look at that, the door's opening. Let's go then. A to jump. Hold on, let me find it. A, where's A? A to jump? Where is... Where is... Oh, there's A. Future episodes, guys, by the way, just a little disclaimer. The whole series won't be with this mic quality, and I also will add a face cam later. That stuff just hasn't quite come in yet, so once it does, the future videos will be way better. Where's the meat? Where's the meat? Lending water, even from great height, will prevent you from taking fall damage. Okay. All right, let's open this chest. Archaic legwear. Awesome. I love archaic legwear. I have so many pairs at home. Um, the shorts are a little bit shorter in real life, but, I mean, they did a pretty accurate representation of the clothing outfit. So I'm proud of them. Proud of them for that. Good job, Nintendo. All right, so there's a bit of a problem. To get meat, we have to kill something, but to only kill it, we have to use meat. So, like, this is going to be an issue. But anyways, welcome to... The Legend of Zelda, Meats of the Kingdom. And may the journey begin. Okay, so obviously for a while, I'm just going to have to avoid bad guys, which that means less supplies, less just items in general. So early game, just letting you know, it's going to be tough. Tree branch, useless, because it don't got meat on it. Let's just, um cruise by you, because can't, can't attack you. Alright, give me this wooden stick.
Thank you for leaving. What are you? Are you a broom? No, you're not. You're a construct. All right. Hello there. Link, I have waited for you. <clears throat> for how long? Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. She's alive? Oh. An OLED. This is the Pyrapad. The OLED. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. The OLED. OLED. Open the OLED here, okay. Cool. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. More records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. A message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Meat. The Temple of Meat is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. Does my Paul need to go there? Oh, it does. Sweet. All right, Bridge. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Gives me access to another area. God, bro, I need meat. First episode. Doesn't get any meat. Hello, you seem to be new here. Well, I, in fact, am. Do you intend to use it as a weapon against the soldier constructs? No, because I don't got meat. The Zonai who created us gave them strict orders to protect this land. They will regard you as a trespasser if they spot you. And their directive is to eliminate all trespassers. You will have little choice in this scenario but to fight them. It is better that you not hold back on our account. I have a piece of advice if you do choose to engage with them. It is crucial to maintain a proper swing and target. Okay, I know. I've played Zelda for a thousand hours. You may practice targeting them if you want. Here we go. Ah, you guys have meat. The chicken leg will do. Oh, hello. I will have to avoid you for now. Oh, see, I hear one of them, but I can't kill it. I've got meat. Let's add two more to the parade, shall we? All right, buddy, I get it. I get it, y'all hate me for no reason. Mushrooms don't count as meat, do they? No. No, they don't. Swim over here. And get Zelda real quick so she can give me some meat. Now that we escaped those junkies, let's continue onward. Oh god, you! I don't got meat, so I can't attack you. I don't. That's so hard for me not to just swing anything in my way. We can't I search these. Man, ow. See, now why did you have to do that? You understand that I'm very vulnerable at this point, so why don't you just leave me be? I put my meaty hand on this symbol. Okay. My hand's not meaty enough, it seems. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. Goat Daddy! I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. 
It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. Nice to meet you, Goat Daddy. Source of the right arm. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do, so. to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? That won't get my meat. Probably not. The shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. No, go, Daddy, where'd you go? Oh well. The closed door. What if I want to open them? Hey, buddy, don't shoot me, please. Thank you. I said don't. You meet shrine. See what this thing do. Uh oh. Nice. So, you've made it here. This is a shrine of meat. Long ago, I filled these places with meat that purges evil. I believe this meat will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Mm -hmm. Now then, extend your hand. Ultra meat. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Mm. This is the ultra meat ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, tell me about it. I think I've seen online. Mm. Use ultra meat and receive the blessing from the shrine. All right, bye, go daddy. So, also, if you'd like me to stream the rest of the playthrough on Twitch and then make YouTube videos, just let me know. I'll link my Twitch channel in the description. And if y'all like me to, I will gladly do it. But y'all have to want to do it. Let's use ultra meat to try and get up here. Let's hope this chest has meat in it. Well, the odds are very low. Amber. By the way, my 200 subscriber special will come out sometime in the near future. It's a lot though, because 
I'm either shooting 100 half court shots, 200 threes, or listening to Barbie World for 24 hours. So. I don't know how much I really want to do any of them. But 200 subscribers is a big milestone for me. 300's next. It's Goat Daddy up there. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you with meat. Wait, no, we offer this meat that will cleanse you of evil. Look at all that corrupt steak seasoning leaving my arm. Light of meat. A crystal that glows with the light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. May the light of meat grant you the strength you seek. Well, thank you, Go Daddy. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Meat. Mm. You may want to mark them sh the shrines in the distance with pins, then you'll never lose track of where they are. The OLED offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. Alrighty, so we got one up there. Pull the OLED out. Boom. And then... Sorry, I haven't played the intro in two days, so it's not fresh on my mind. There it is. Alrighty, we've got the mark for Fuse. Also, because this is my first true Let's Play that I will be doing on this channel, I need y'all's opinion. Y'all want more edited videos? Do you want the rest of this playthrough to be more edited? Or just more up- oh god. Uh, more upbeat. Stuff like that. Or would you like more drawn out, just- like the old days of YouTube, just a playthrough of me beating things to death with my meat. It's up to y'all. Let me know as well in the comments. There's Goat Daddy in the distance. Let's maybe have a chat with him. Oh man, this looks like a meaty area. Could I potentially get my first thing of meat? I can use. So look. I should have specified this. I can use it to break open crates. That's it. Because you can't do that kind of stuff without with meat. Like, meat just isn't sharp. So there, I'm bending the rule just a slight bit, but maybe I should give me a benefit of the doubt, please. Thank you. All right, let's have a quick montage of getting these logs for this bridge. And done. And by the looks of it, it doesn't have any meat. Amber, not meat. We have entered nighttime, so all the animals are going to be gone. So it looks like we'll be gone another night without the protein. Ancient Arowana. Uh. It's nutritious meat. 
That's me. Guys, we found meat. Hey, hey, I said meat. Anything that has meat. Um, maybe not. Let's go a bow and arrow that I don't have to get off of a person. Aha, there you guys are. I need you to die. Just, like, do something that kills yourself. Please. Drown. 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 Bird. 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 Listen, listen to me. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, while we're at it, let's just put some stuff on the grill. There we go. There we go. Thank you for your zone eye charge, as I can only get them from you guys. About to be a literal beat a literal Tears of the Kingdom world record. Longest going in a game without killing a single enemy. What's good, Korok? You're not gonna give me any meat. I don't want it. No, I can't carry any more melee weapons. Okay, let's drop a tree branch and a tree branch and another tree branch. Thank you. Can't kill you guys, don't got meat. Take this little hidden passage real quick. Come on, man. You know it. You know it. Gosh dang it. This is tough. This is really tough. Welcome to the Enmita Shrine. Let's go in. And there's Goat Daddy. So you made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. Mm. This is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and then fuse a nearby object? Away. Please tell me this thing's gonna have meat in it. It's gonna be another dang amber or opal. Watch this. Okay, I was wrong. Oh. Oh, God. Wait a second. The key is in that. And the only way to... Guys, we've hit into conundrum. It's not possible to beat Tears of the Kingdom with only meat. So we're gonna have to bend the rules yet again. The way we are going to bend these rules is only if we absolutely have to. Will we use something other than meat? Meaning, if it, if we can't do it, like we have to do it to proceed in the story, then I get to use one 
arrow. Open this door up. That's what I'm going through. So, we're gonna have done two shrines with no meat. And oh god, I forgot about this thing. Why don't you just not? Why don't you just. I don't know. Not do that? Okay, buddy. Bye, man. I'm not fighting you. I would in any other playthrough, but it's almost like I don't got me. Thanks. Still meatless. Give me all the protein. Gotta get that corrupt steak seasoning out of my right arm. There we go. I hope I didn't record all this just to have the quality be trash. Light of meat. I came because there's something I failed to give you. Please take it. Energy meat, a gift from a Zonai construct designed to be worn on a belt. It can power Zonai devices. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. We can teach you how to use this. I hope that the energy cell I provided is useful to you. I sure hope so too, my man. Unfortunately, this is where I, we're gonna end this video. Now, when school starts, the uploads on this series may be inconsistent, but I guarantee you I will not stop. But currently for now, I'll have it set at one video a week. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, we started out meatless. Still haven't been able to attack anybody, or shoot anybody, or just throw my protein on anybody. But I promise you guys, next episode, I'll have to pull an amiibo out to get that meat, because it's going to be harder and harder and harder as the game goes on to even get it. So, make sure to drop a like, remember at 20 likes. I will also do a randomizer series in the future. And, uh, yeah, that's it for the video. We're on the road to 300 now, so. Peace out, everybody.